What is up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to another episode of my Hungarian Let's Play uh, where I just cancelled my mission actually off camera, which I shouldn't have done uh, to remove Poland from the map and the reason is because I realised first of all, why don't we start fighting some bloody wars automatically? That's what the Empire is for, I say. We pay one of our loans there. Uh, so I'm going to give some of this land to uh, our subjects. And that's the reason we weren't going to complete our objective there of owning Warsaw. It's a large province. And I'm going to bloody well give it to, I guess, Bohemia or, well, Bohemia is too large. We'll give it to Prussia. If we look at our subjects, Bohemia is, yeah, really upset with us, man. It's a shame. Uh, also, our truce is up with Kong. So we're going to go in against him. I'm not sure. Perhaps we don't have the overextension, but I suggest we do. His capital is a really low development, so I suggest we can overextend and kill him. Kill his face. Still, Portugal and this guy have very old rulers. So hoping, like I said, the Inyar dynasty would spread to them. But it's not the case so far. And guys, it occurred to me that we actually have the subjugation of Rome. The subjugation of the papacy. Negative two Diplo reputation. Um, it's quite unfortunate. <laughs> it is what it is. That's just part of the fact that we've uh, subjugated them as the, the empire automatically. Uh, we'll give this to the Teutonic Order. I, I actually intended to give it to Prussia, but let's give it to the Teutons, guys. Uh, I can give them that one province at the cost of Diplo, that's fine, and then give them all three of these claims. Uh, the Teutons are Catholic, and they're not pissed at us. So, he's the smarter choice. When the influence of the nobility reduces, I'm going to add some land back to the nobility... Yeah, like I said, let's go Annex Kong. Now, I'm hoping this will give us some time for our subjects to move back into Europe while we just mess around doing what we're doing right now. I became the paper controller last episode, guys. I didn't even realize. Um, but how awkward this game is sometimes, man. Like, I wanted to become for so long. It was our mission, and then I canceled my mission, and we just became the controller. Lol. I guess we should still be doing some harsh treating. I can now accept manufacturers. It costs a lot of money, though. A lot of money. About three loans worth of money. Continuing to do some harsh treatment for 50... Military up to 61 absolutism getting there. This is going to be satisfying for me to annex Kong. Remove them from the map. The whole world shall be hungry. And then the empire after that. Yeah, I'm hoping a lot of the troops that came all the way down here, I'm keeping one stack to stabilize the region, but I'm hoping a lot of the troops that are exiled go back up to Europe and uh, are prepared to help us fight the French. Prussia's at 50%. Shoot. Um, I gotta keep an eye on that because I don't want him to ally anybody who has liberty desire. Ottomans declared on uh, Persia again. So the last war against Persia, the Ottomans barely won and they released a small Kazan. Be interesting to see who wins this time around. They're both the same military tech level.
God dang it. I think maybe building up my troops would help with the Liberty Desire a bit. But at the same time, we've got so much that we want to spend our money on right now. Like the uh, manufacturers, but also just paying off our loans in general. Let's check how much overextension this gives. we got to keep in mind that Prussia doesn't like the fact... Nice. No problem on the overextension. It's 21, right? We're good? Yep. He's... He is more pissed at us because of the overextension that we do have. So we've got to keep that in mind. Plenty of claims here against France, but I was kind of hoping that uh, we could not fight Portugal. I don't think we can break alliance. Oh, it's bloody close. We totally can if we improve relations. Cool. Break alliance with Portugal and France. And then that way we don't have a truce with Portugal. So we can go in against this face arena. Uh, we got to learn where everybody is. They're usually in kind of groups. So these are the Germans. Where's the Teutonic Order? Teutonic Order is near the bottom. Let's try to remember that. Yeah, so Diplo Reputation in the past has been hugely important for us guys. But I guess we don't need the Diplo Reputation like crazy anymore. At least I'm getting some bloody uh, Diplo points because we're not integrating Russia so massively with our reputation being very high. But on the other hand, we're integrating him fairly slowly, which is a little bit disappointing. It's a bit of a give and take, but ultimately it doesn't actually matter that much. And uh, once we hit this last button, which obviously I don't plan to do for some time, we, I want to feed a lot of Europe, some of these really high development provinces, to um, some of these guys who can just core it up nicely. You know what? Bar, though. Let's convert bar so that... Oh, God. There it is. Alphabetical. Let's convert him so that we don't worry about giving a Protestant Catholic land. Alrighty. Yeah, so that's only 18. Cool, and the students can core that up for us. No problem. Now this issue with the nobility being so massively influencing our country is going to go away here in a moment and that will sort out our army maintenance yep there it is went away um so let us quickly look at what what provinces should we be adding to the nobility. It's actually been quite some time since I messed around with something like that, I guess. Just give some a Hungary in Transylvania. Cool. That'll do. That'll do. I'm wondering what points do we desperately need. None, really, honestly. But I'm hoping that will change. What is our next idea group going to be? I really feel like we need another military idea, but is there any group that we crucially need? A lot of people were talking about get Diplo ideas um, for the influence, but I'm not sure you guys, um, those who were suggesting that, kind of completely understood the kind of... Uh, time scale i suppose what what would be appropriate to time because as you can see i haven't had another option available yeah i think probably defensive ideas is what i'm going to be taking next although i really want some discipline as well though we don't have any discipline do we apart from our national ideas it's between defensive and quality i think or for that matter offensive as well i like the siege ability it's so cancerous to have to siege down massive forts. High level fort levels. 
the thing that I prefer about uh, quality of defensive though is that our army maintenance, not our army maintenance, our army tradition has been just diminishing. And uh, the yearly army tradition is really, really helpful. Still, these guys have not died. Oh, wow. For some reason, I guess Portugal gained trust. Wow, he was one modifier away from breaking alliance and then he changed his mind. What a shame. Okay, I'm going to make uh, our subjects claim these lands up. So you can just integrate them freely. And let's harsh treat these Kong guys. Uh, 56 cost? Screw it. Let's not harsh treat them. I think they're going to be a really big revolt because they already had some unrest, I suspect. Because they grew so quickly there. The Kong revolt. But that's fine. Bohemia's liberty desire is growing and growing. How dare you? Alrighty, I think it's the moment of truth. I really wanted to break Portugal's alliance with France because we were about to be at war with him, which is not appropriate if we want to uh, PU him. Damn it. Maybe I clicked on Castile, actually. Maybe that's what happened because Castile was really close to accepting. I might have just done another noob mistake there. Um, but I think I want to see how the Empire fares against France, because I know some of his troops are not um, in position. There are some of his troops right there. Now, he's a military tech ahead of us. We could tech up. There's no problem doing that. Um, hmm. Let's quickly check how strong he is. That's about a third of his troops. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't want to be fighting Portugal, dude. Damn it. It's not the end of the world actually truce breaking people, though. As we do have... No, but over such a small nation? Ah, damn it. I really want to break his bloody alliance. But we're not going to do it. So I'm coming for you, France. This guy is probably the strongest nation, and it's between him and Ming. So I'm hoping that we kind of just automatically beat him, right? He's fighting all of this. And uh, yeah, make sure to give the claims to the right people. Be interesting to see how we do. So this stack, let's go for the war goal, I suppose. Now, I saw a lot of units he had in the New World. I hope they're still out there. Um, because if we can gang up on this guy and defeat him, that's about a third of his troops, and we do outnumber him if I can get my other stack over here. Cool stuff. So this is most likely going to be a large war, guys, and I'm probably going to end the episode before we actually wrap it up. But as... I'm hoping that it will appear as though it, it is just a matter of time until we win it. Uh, hopefully things do not change. And needless to say, the way that I'm going to piece him out is going to be 
feeding him to these subjects, making Bar into a little bit more grandiose of a subject. The same with uh, Hanuit, and just feeding his face. By the way, the Netherlands never defected from France. Here, uh, he changed the culture. Wow. He did a lot of culture converting by the looks of things. Oh, he took them out at sea. Wow. Okay, I didn't expect that. This navy was right there. I, I'm really looking forward to building up a navy myself. But that's one of the many things that we uh, have to do down the line. And Portugal gets an heir. Okay. It's a shame, but there we go. I guess I'm not so concerned any longer about the fact that we're at war with him. No big deal. I can't believe this guy didn't die there for like ages. It was like five plus years. So old. How obnoxious. I gotta keep an eye out for the Prussian liberty desire. I really would prefer if they don't uh, go full rebellious on us. If you feel me, guys. Oh, that's 70 military. I'd rather not spend that amount. We'd spend the 50s. Our absolutism is getting higher and higher, which is really good. Russia's approaching 90% integrated. Bar's right at the top. But let's remember that. Where the heck is Hanuit, I wonder? By the way, I'm probably pronouncing Hanuit Han wrong. I have no idea how to pronounce that. But I pronounce approximately everything I've ever said in my life wrong. So that's okay. It's just how it goes. I'm happy to tick up for negative 10 in admin. I'd prefer to... Hey, we don't have choice of him. Cool. Luba. He just took out uh, this guy while we were taking him out. And uh, I'd be happy to go in against him as we begin coring up. We'll start a another war. Uh, yeah, so the carpet sieging is going well. France was pulling troops from sea. We have the war goal. So everything's going well, assuming that he stands no chance, right? Look at the troops here. He does indeed stand no chance. Look at this sheer amount of troops. Beautiful. And we have another merchant available. Where did that come from? I wonder. I'm just not 100% aware of what's happening. Did it, Wait, did I not save? And Yeah, I don't think we have another merchant available, actually. I think that I just didn't apply him. Something happened there. He got pulled back or something. It's no big deal. No biggie. Now what I want to check is we use the gear. Yeah, unfortunately that cost, that's what I knew. It cost Diplo. I thought that was the case. It's a shame. It's a shame. We're going to be giving Bar three provinces and uh, spending a little bit of Diplo unfortunately on giving other people provinces. Uh, but that's alright. Diplo over... What the hell? Do you... Do you want to be a guy? Is there something wrong with that? Merchant returned again. I was just trying to say that it's a little bit of a shame... We don't have the, a great CB, like a reconquest of uh, Burgundy, for example. But it is what it is. Okay, got some Africans revolting. That's just fine. Yeah, so I'm actually not a big fan of these other ones, guys. I think the obvious choice is we take the harsh treatment, reduced cost by 50%. But we're not going to be able to make that much use of it now that our absolutism is, is quite high. So it's a bit of a shame. And as far as the other ones are concerned, they actually don't seem that good. 
the autonomy thing is not that big of an issue for us because I don't plan to actually conquer land and uh, state it up and therefore have autonomy reducing at all. Um, we're obviously going to make states within Russia and then within the empire. And that's going to be, quite frankly, it's probably going to be all of our states uh, until the end of the game. We're just going to do quote unquote freely. Let's get some military power there. It'll cost some money, I guess. Bohem is at 90%, eh? Um, I wonder, is compared forces an issue? Hmm. No. I think the fact that it is in the Empire, it just essentially removes that modifier. Comparative forces. Because he's a subject of vassal of us via the Empire. Uh, let us begin another war. I suspect that we're going to fully annex this guy, but I'm just waiting for our core to disappear. And I did check so we can continue coring. Um, nice. That feels nice and satisfying. The Congo is going to be ours like crazy. And uh, hopefully we can stable it up, it up as well. Stamp French provinces, uh, forts rather, are, are absolutely massive. But that is what it is. Armenia is a good place to spend some harsh treatment. Hmm, apparently not. Why you cost 52 instead of 50? How rude. I value that two military points. For some reason. Is Cuba doing okay? Is East... Is New Hungary doing okay? Well enough, I suppose. They're hanging in there. Kill some more Rebolas! Yeah, so I guess we're not going to be paying off our last four loans until we've... Uh, Completed manufactories. I'm tempted to actually take out a loan or two and just bite the bullet and brace manufactories before we tick up. I will do it before we tick up, but maybe I can take only one loan as opposed to two. It'll be interesting to see what's going on up in this region. Cool. Cord all kinds of stuff up. That's most of our overextension. Yeah, so part of the reason that the Liberty Design is going up on Bohemia is just simply because whenever I look, we're massively overextended. That's definitely part of the ordeal. Okay, that's the other province that we're giving to Bar. So... If we're going to spend Diplo, we might as well do Return Core. Because I'm don't. i never going to CB over, over the one province. I'm never going to use Reconquest. So we might as well do that. Um, that gives, you know, them the opportunity to make better claims. Like, Catalonia might just claim all of this region up and we feed it to him. That'd be good. And we obviously integrate it all for free. But those subjects will be empowered and they don't need to uh, spend the admin themselves. I have had issues when I've gone full in on uh, feeding the empire, like full in on the empire feedage. I have had issues where the subjects actually end up, it kind of breaks their, their nation a little bit. In terms of stability, etc. Now, I think there's a fort around here, by the looks of things, based around our movement. And I'm interested to see if we can fully annex this guy. Kind of looks like it probably, but I have no idea how big it is. Yeah, cool. Go for the full annexation of him. And yeah, we'll probably end the episode there once I fully annex him, but we are going to be still at war with France. 
we've got the ticking war score and it's just a matter of time until you know we siege some of these forts up i've just got my troops i don't have much access i don't want to sit i'm letting them do the work uh but i'm going to try to sort of reinforce if they are being attacked anywhere in particular uh -huh, it looks like france is actually on great britain so he's been a little bit of a no-show which of course i'm not complaining about that's it's just fine and uh, life's good in the hood. I think uh, this is a pretty pretty good game, guys. It's just going to be a matter of time. And I'll tell you what, I've been in similar situations before in the past. And uh, I've been pretty nervous about the fact that I just don't think we have the time to do it. But these uh, changes are essentially just buffs to the game, as far as I can tell. Uh, this These gaps, this huge amount of admin that we have to integrate into the country, is uh, it looks smaller due to the at the moment we have already 26 admin efficiency that i otherwise would not have had we haven't spent that much on it we've spent f mostly just economically spending military points like otherwise i would have been spending them on developing our country or something so uh, that's cool and that of course doesn't include the 10 percent reduced cost of um all costs from the golden era it doesn't include that five admin efficiency which we're gonna have for a while uh, I actually don't know what this page looks like for the next and final age which is soon upon us I suppose in the year 1700 it's 120 months after that when it, it uh, spawns and I'm not a big fan of any of these missions here at the moment we'll be able to review them a little bit more with a different mindset uh, when we're completely and utterly rich. Yeah, I was hoping that, uh-huh, there we go. I was hoping that Savoy would start claiming and we just make a total beast out of Savoy, feeding him the lands. It's just certainly satisfying though. At least we get some satisfaction of uh, after all of our efforts with the empire to just do the the free the free killifying of people speaking of the free killifying uh i wanted to feed this to prussia i am hesitant though actually maybe i should just annex warsaw myself prussia is too strong essentially that's the most simple way to look at the situation He's too strong, because he's on the verge. Oh, I do want to repay that loan. Uh, but I also want to embrace manufacturers. Really? Let's embrace manufacturers tick up for negative 10 and our new idea is coming along here in a moment for uh, military which is I, i'm going to put it into military um and yeah now we can well and truly begin paying off our loans guys it's not going to be a while before we need to embrace or something so we've got five loans and we're very economical maybe in a decade or so we'll have no loans whatsoever and we can start going crazy on uh, navy and things of the like for the late game Yeah, definitely going for a military idea, but that's going to make me more hesitant to spend our military points on harsh treatment, if you know what I'm saying, guys. We should be using our diplomat somewhere. Uh, perhaps Genoa? I do want to enforce religion on Genoa, if possible. Speaking of enforce, let's enforce on him. So there's Hessen, Olm. Let's do some of that right now. Oh wow, that's a massive stack. I request your aid, Hungarian troops, brave Hungarian troops. Come killeth thy rebolers. 
Yeah, so we have to walk out here and find the final fort owned by this nation, I suppose. I assume there's only one more fort. But we will see. Well, that was a pretty automatic war. Of course it is, because uh, his troops were preoccupied. Um, but France seems to have been, uh, how do you say, a ruffle stomped, which feels very good. Uh, we will make sure to prep the world for a future where all the cafes around the world serve Hungarian polichinta in the morning. Um, my preference is a little bit of soft brown sugar and lemon juice very classy screw those french crepes <laughs> um so how much war score do we actually need to do that we need 46 probably worth just getting a shorter truce time i would say guys oh colonialism against great britain so great britain took something did he oh no he lost something or they're still at war. I don't know. I don't know what just happened. They're still at war, aren't they? No, they're not. Okay. Yeah. France actually won out here in, in the colonies, taking more of America. Wow. Alright, cool. No problem. We're going to be annexing France. Whether we annex him directly or his colonies in the future, um, both to the same effect. And we just about have the war score here to peace out. Good. I found a fort in the fog of war, it seems. So we're getting that much closer to actually winning both wars. And despite us utilizing our troops. Our manpower is doing quite well. Cool. Get wrecked. Yeah, I think I think shorter truce timer is the way to go. Uh, let's quickly check. Up, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Return to Castile is not the best move. Considering it costs us Diplo. Cool, man. Awesome. Good job, Bar. Good job, peeps. Make sure to continue claiming his land okay guys claim the ever-living crap out of him okay guys to feed into the future get wrecked france this hair is my empire didn't you know this hair is my empire good stuff i think he needed to be told that this hair was my empire guys do you guys remember back in the days when we were friends and I was like, I get to ally France. And then he attacked me. I remember back in the days. Uh, this episode is dragging on, guys. And I'm actually going to call it here for that reason. Pretty self-explanatory. We're going to fully annex that guy. And uh, our truce should, should be coming out with some of these nations. Six years with Mali, which will be a full annexation. Um, one year with the Ottomans. Great. That's going to be really cool. God dang, he's allied to me. Okay. Okay, that might be a little bit more uh, than I anticipated, really, if we're fighting Ming as well. Uh, he seems to be crushing Persia as well this time. Speaking of Persia, we've almost integrated Russia, and we're going to be able to crush Persia ourselves. Um, shoot, that's awkward, man, if the Ottomans ally to Ming. So we'll think about it next episode. But, uh, yeah, life's good. Life's good. We bet France and many more again in the future. Of course, that didn't benefit us that much, guys, but that did hurt him. It certainly hurt him. We took some development. And I'm looking forward to doing the same again in the future. And god dang it. Oh, Hinyadi. Hinyadi on that guy. Cool. Cool. So maybe if we wreck the Ottomans or whatever, he can expand. And we can PU him as well. At the, like nearer to the end of the game. Thanks for watching, guys. We spread our dynasty to one dude. Feels good. See you in the next episode.